Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another great edition of NHW. This week, the finals of the Elite Eight Tournament. We've seen match after match over the last several weeks, and it all comes down to this. The heartless aggression of Christopher Slade faces the burning desperation of Zane Stevens in this week's main event. It's all on the line, and it all comes at you after this. Ladies and gentlemen, this week on New Heights Wrestling, the finals of the Elite Eight Tournament. Eight men have been whittled down to just two, and my guest at this time is one of those two, Zane Stevens. Zane, last week you had the Master of Devastation, Cameron Frost, and just when it looked like you were done in this tournament, Cameron Frost seemed to have a change of heart, and he left the ring, allowing you to get the victory by countout. Cameron Frost, man to man. Nobody has done anything so kind to look out for my family other than me. And from the bottom of my heart, brother, thank you. Well, this week you are in the finals against the pride champion, Christopher Slade. Christopher Slade, you're the last one left. You have to fall. There's no one left but me and you. Last time we saw you in the ring with Christopher Slade, it was for the vacant Pride Championship, and he did manage to eke out the victory over you. How are you going to change up your strategy this time around and take home the tournament? I understand that I lost to Slade the last time around, but as I stated before, it was a lack of motivation. It was to win a belt, maybe a little bit more money, but I need this. Emily needs this. We have no choice. Well, Zane... Best of luck to you in the finals. Thank you. It's all come down to this, fans. Elite Eight Finals, Zane Stevens, Christopher Slade, and it's coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, earlier we heard from one half of the finals of the Elite Eight Tournament in Zane Stevens and his impassioned cry to become tournament champion to help save the life of his five-year-old daughter, Emily. At this time, we have the other half of the finals of the tournament and the pride champion, Christopher Slade. Mr. Slade, the last time that you stepped in the ring with Zane Stevens was for the vacant pride championship, and obviously, being that you are the champion, you came out the victor. But that was only for a belt. This time around, you have Zane Stevens, a man who is utterly possessed by the drive to save his daughter. Uh, I, I do not care about his five-year-old daughter, Emily. I, got, I see one thing in mind, and that's the heavyweight championship. Mr. Slade, do you have a heart? I, I may be selfish and heartless and all that, but I'm determined. I'm more determined than he is. That heavyweight championship would look beautiful right on top of my pride championship, and you know that for a fact. So what is your plan of attack to take on Zane Stevens? Again, a man just utterly possessed. Well, just like he's going to do whatever it takes. You don't think I'm going to do whatever it takes for me? I, I guess that's a possibility, but... Ladies and gentlemen, the finals of the Elite Eight Tournament. Christopher Slade, Zane Stevens, coming up. You know, Hoss, we gave a big what if early on in these final in this uh, in this Elite Eight tournament. What if your pick and my pick square off? That has come to fruition, ladies and gentlemen. We're seeing that now. CB Slade, Zane Stevens. The time is now. The time for talk is done. I told you, told you, Christopher Slade was going to win this tournament. But right now, here in a little while, I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Trust me on this. And you said Zane Stevens was going to make it to the finals. Zane Stevens is going to make it to the finals. Here he is. He's in the finals. You know, that doesn't happen very often that we make a prediction that both of us are actually a little bit right. But you even went so far as to say that Christopher Slade, the current Pride champion, is going to win the finals. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see. Time, time has stood still at this point. It's now or never for the Pride champion and the man fighting for his daughter. Ladies and gentlemen, Zane Stevens and Christopher, Bl and Christopher, Christopher Slade 
Definitely right now. Place. I'll go one further. I'll put my payday on the line. Me versus you. I'm not putting my payday on the line. Look, I've got to provide. I will say this, though. Christopher Slade, both men, both men in this contest, they are determined. They really want it. You can't take that away from them. Obviously, because the man that wins this match is going to win a buttload of money, and also they will become the number one contender for the heavyweight championship. You know, I would put my payday on it because I believe that the, the determination that Chris, that uh, Zane Stevens has to win this for his daughter, man, he has heart. He has the biggest heart in the world. They're winning this tournament. Winning this tournament. In the box, in the corner to my right, Hales from Lewisburg, Alabama. There we've had the official announcement from Ben Parker. And you can see that Zane Stevens is still sporting the picture of Emily, five-year-old Emily, who's looking to have a medical procedure done. If her dad, Zane Stevens, can only pull out a win in this Elite Eight tournament. The time for talk is done. No one cares about your daughter. That's sad. You know, that, those are really strong words from Christopher Slade. It is. Sounds like he picked up my telephone call because he's going get, to get directly into the head of Zane Stevens immediately. He took the leg right out front of him <laughs> and grabbed the other one. He's trying to rip the picture off his leg. The audacity. I mean, the, the man's... Okay, look. Win the match if you're going to win the match. Don't bring his family into it like that. That's horrible. Rip the picture off. <laughs> he is trying to rip the pit. You're right, Hoss. He's trying to rip the picture off this, this this guy's ankle who's fighting for the life of his daughter. We've got Zane Stevens. Zane Stevens and Christopher Slade. Man, I tell you what, they are both in it to win it tonight. This is a huge main event here in New Heights Wrestling. Elite Eight, winner wins all the money. Number one contender for the heavyweight championship. And imagine if Slade wins, he's already the pride champ. He'll do something that Paul Jordan would have never been able to do. Win the money, be the pride champ, and become heavyweight champ later down the line in the future. That's a pretty tremendous prediction there. That's something nobody in this company has ever done, ever. I'm not taking it away from Christopher Slade. He could very well pull off exactly what you said. But uh, tonight, he's got to not look forward and look ahead of Zane Stevens. He can't look over the man's tenacity. He can't look over the man's determination. Now Zane Stevens down with an arm bar. Christopher Slade trying to reverse it down to one knee. However, what would you do? What, what would you do differently? Would you do anything differently than Christopher Slade has done so far? I'd low blow him at the beginning, like you said weeks ago. Gosh, I'm never going to live throwing, that down. You keep throwing me these softballs, and I keep knocking them out of the park. Yes, you do. You absolutely... Okay, all honestly, what would I do differently? Yeah. I would have kept going in his leg. I would have kept getting in his head. It was middle to begin with because of the fact he has an emotional attachment. This man's playing a sympathy card. I get why he's doing it. Wow. I, I'll say this as well, though. You're, you're absolutely right. There's a, there's a rope break. Uh, but I'll, I'll say this. He does have a target, a big bullseye on that foot. And I, I agree with you that if Slade were able to, uh, to, to focus his attention on that foot, on the ankle, that might have been a, a smart maneuver. That's very good thinking on your part, Hoss. That's awesome. Yeah. Caller will tie for. up. Caller will tie up now. We've got Zane Stevens. In no man's land, Christopher Slade seems to be in uh, control of the matchup so far. You think that's a picture of his wife on his trunks? Watch it. Don't be trite. 
Here we go. Wrenching in the side headlock again is Christopher Slade. Reversal. Is it? Oh, nope, nope, nope. But a grab of the head of the hair by Slade. Bands are getting really behind Zane Stevens. They obviously don't know a winner when they see one. He's pulling the hair. Referee calling for the break, and he gives it to him. Here we go. Again, ladies and gentlemen, let's not forget the the uh, five-year-old Emily needs this surgery. But Christopher Slade, he wants this money. He wants to progress in New Heights Wrestling. He wants to become New Heights Wrestling champion. He wants to take this money and cash it in. He's got a handful of hair. Oh, well, He's got a handful right. of hair. You're right. He did have a handful yeah, of hair. Yeah, I'm right. He had a handful of hair. He's a cheater. And look, I... That maneuver was not the best maneuver on the part of Zane Stevens to pull. But he is di di uh, dishing it back out to the man. Man, you are so PC. So PC. You, 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 you're, I'm, you're not even, you're on one side of the fence. Or you just ride it right down the middle. Come on, man. I Look, thought I'm, you were better than that. I thought you were better than Parker. Come on. I got rid of him for you. And now you're going to be like, oh, well, you know, I think he was, you know. Come on, man. Hey, he shouldn't have cheated. He shouldn't have cheated. There you have it. Exactly. Big shot to the right hand, or with the right hand to the side of the face of Zane Stevens. Stevens now with a with a face right into the turnbuckle. CB Slade here, Christopher Slade. He is a man on a mission. He is men. He is meaning he is going to take this uh, this this Elite Eight tournament. He's going to win it. He's going to cash in that money, and he's going to move forward with his life here in New Heights Wrestling. Pulling him oh, out the huge, huge right boot to the back of of Zane Stevens. Dropping the knee to the to the to the chest. There's a pin, Os. Kick out on one. Let's talk about this real quick. Let's remember, CB Slade. He defeated Zane Stevens a couple of months ago, episodes back, to, to, to win. I'm, I'm stuttering. I'm getting That's this okay, from you're you. Getting mine. Yeah. <laughs> He won the vacated Pride Championship. That seat, Chris Ty was the reason why Lucha Lacroix had to be stripped of that belt. And now it's kind of like it's kind of like we're seeing a rematch. We are seeing a rematch between these two. And just more is on the line now, more than just Pride. See, and I'll tell there? you. Yeah, absolutely. Double and Tundra. Yeah, more more than just Pride, more than the Pride Championship. What's on the line here is a chance to move forward in New Heights Wrestling. Zane Stevens coming back after being gone for a little bit. There's a pan two count only after being gone for a little bit, but he's coming back for a good reason. He's 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 wanting to to do the best for his daughter, but at the same time, he really does want to move forward in wrestling. Wrestling is his way of life. It's not like this is just a weekend job. Wrestling is who he is. Same can be said, however, for Christopher Slade. One count only. Pan one two two count only. Slade's got to take it. He's got to do something. Throw these fist cups. Like I said, this isn't chinning. He's got till five, and then it becomes a problem. And to be honest, he could be disqualified. He continues doing, continuously keeps doing that. He could, but I hope that the tournament does not end this way. You know, we saw uh, early on in the tournament, in order for Zane Stevens to progress, we saw your, your friend or former friend Cameron Frost walk out of the match. You know, I have a respect for the man for to let him do that. But at the same time, he gave away his shot at winning this Elite Eight tournament. He did. I'd much rather let him walk away for just a second. Maybe give him a, a time to get up to his feet. Let him end it like gentlemen. Not to walk away. You're not going to see that in this matchup tonight. Christopher Slade's not going to lay down for anyone. No, he's not. He's got a brain. Nice roll through by Stevens. Oh, huge big boot to the face. Look at the eyes of Stevens. One, two, two count only. It's kind of glassy. It kind of makes you think back whenever Slade, Slade actually gave him that concussion whenever he won the Pride Championship when he hit the death stroke. So, I mean, you're starting to wonder, is the concussion starting to come into play? You know, it very well could. He's he's risking a lot coming back into action with that with that concussion, and uh, you know it never really fully heals. He, he's risking honestly. He's risking his life to be in the match tonight. So I, I do. I, my hat goes off to him for that. Um, I'm not sure if it's the smartest move on his part, but it's a move out of desperation. Does it sound smart to you? Would it's you be in here after a concussion? No. 
No, I would not. But because of his daughter, he's in here fighting, so that makes it smart. It it's at least gives a sane reason to what is normally an insane uh, one, two, two count only. Hook of the uh, the near leg that I slayed. You're right. Normally, I, I, he should not be here. Normally, I, I don't even know why the doctors cleared him for this matchup. The fans, Hoss, honestly, they're they're not behind CB Slade in this matchup. They don't need to be CB behind him. They don't have to be behind him because I'm behind him. That's all that matters. He's got somebody with the insight, such as Haas Bryant, giving him this type of information that he needs to make himself a winner. That's true, but right this moment, sitting at this table broadcasting here, you're not helping Christopher Slade. It's up, it's up to his own, uh, his own determination, his own uh, insight into this match, his own ability. Right? Right. That, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for middle support. Kick out! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We almost had a winner there. Oh! oh. Kick to the midsection there by Slade. Off the side. Oh, sick Big kick. shot to the head. Huge sick kick. There it is. One, two. Two. Oh. It's getting close. Very close. I mean, fraction millimeters away from the canvas. It's like these two were made to wrestle each other. Christopher Slade and Zane Stevens. These two have, they put on great contests. Christopher Slade says it's over. What's he going to do now? He's, uh... There you go, big baby. Come on. You hit Slade, big going Slade going up. Slade going up. Oh, no, no. Oh. He moves. Come on, he Slade. He moves. You got to get up. Stevens reaching down out of desperation. You got to get up. No, get up, insult. Slade. He moved. No. Stevens now. He's ready for it. He may win this thing right now. Come on, Slade. Get up. You got to fight back. That was the Here ill move. Stevens no. ready. Big left hand. No. Big left hand. No. Now he's winding up. No. Huge elbow taking Slade down. Come on. Back elbow. Come on, Haas. This is amazing. Are you kidding me? High Are knee you lift. kidding me? Come on, Slade. High knee lift. No. Slade on the on It's high rear. knee here at New Eyes Wrestling. Slade's got to get up. We're on the edge of our seats. Who will win the Elite Tournament? Fans. Oh, come on. Did you see that Come on! Kick? Come on! Fantastic! Come on! Absolutely astounding kick! Come on! Stevens get down! down. Stevens down! Oh, uh, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Steven. Haas, sit down. Whoa, you're taking away from this match. That man deserves it. Nobody cares about that flag. Hey, Mickey! Nobody cares about that flag! Hoss! 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 He's, he's got to He's got the thing to ring the bell! He's got the thing to ring the bell! Hoss! Hoss Bryant! Hoss Bryant, you have gone berserk! That is too far! Two and two! Too far! Hoss Bryant has gone too far! He tossed the ring! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Hoss Bryant! Hoss Bryant! Whoa! He's ripping the picture of him, mate! Hoss Bryant has gone too far! My broadcast colleague, ladies and gentlemen, he tossed the thing that rings the bell. He tossed the dinger into Christopher Slade. Slade used that on the top of the head of Zane Stevens. Ladies and gentlemen, Hoss Bryant has gone too far. This has got to stop. Despicable. 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 Someone, if you're watching this, Commissioner, we need your help. That's despicable. He took away a man's chance to do for his family. He took away Zane Stevens' chance to win the money for his family. Hoss Bryant is despicable, and they're celebrating in the ring like they've done something. 
see you being slayed. Christopher Slade may have been able to pull that off on his own. But we'll never know because of the cheating ways of Haas Bryant, the powers of V here in the NHW. Fans, that's sickening. Sickening. Haas, that's horrible. The fans here at NHW, they are erupting. They're furious. Furious. We need help. This has got to come to an end. This has got to come to an end. This is horrible. The fans hate them. Hate them. Absolutely horrible. You know, I want to I hear what they've got to say. I want to hear what they've got to say. Where's Ben Parker? Ben Parker. Ben Parker. Fans, we need Ben Parker. We need to hear from Ben Parker. We need to hear what Haas Bryant was thinking. Look, this is despicable. It's horrible. 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 Fans, I hope you enjoyed that. If not, we need to make a change in New Heights Wrestling. We need to hear from you. Visit us, newheightswrestling.com. We have got to make a change of that. What I tell you, Haas, what did you I do? Told you. Haas, I told you. Nobody listens to me. I'm done. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am almost completely speechless over what was just witnessed in the ring in the finals of the Elite Eight Tournament. And I'm going to try and get a word with the winner, Christopher Slade, and find out what happened with him and my former colleague, Hoss Bryant. Mr. Slade, first of all, congratulations on winning the Elite Eight Tournament. But I have to ask, are you truly proud of the way you won it after Haas Bryant gave you the big assist in beating Zane Stevens? Uh, of course I'm feeling great. I mean, just won the biggest tournament of the year. Now, I get my shot at Mr. Handle That Mike Faison. Now, when I said I was the man of 2014, I was not joking around. No, wait, let me take that back. I am the man of forever. Him and I, we are taking over this company. And... Better deal with it, all right? You and Haas Bryan are taking over New Heights Wrestling. Let me tell you something right now, Parker. This man right here is the man of 2014. I told you for 20 episodes, for 20 episodes, this man was the man of 2014. And I will not let some charity act walk into this tournament and try and take over. Oh, poor Emily. Poor Emily. We need that money for her heart condition. Well, guess what? He may be a family man. This man is a journeyman. This is all he knows. He already beat him for the Pride Championship. Now he's won his money. And now we're going to rub it in his face. Because next is the Heavyweight Championship. And I knew all along, I knew a long time ago, that this man was going to be the future. He is the man of 2014. He is your pride heavyweight champion. And everybody on the horizon better look out. Because I told you I was telling the truth. CB Slade, we're going places, brother. Trust me on that. Haas Bryant and Christopher Slade, an alliance of what sounds like nothing but complete evil, and we'll see what happens with them in the coming weeks. Right here. Three, two, one, action. Wrestling fans, what we just witnessed in the ring has 
has shocked everybody and is an absolute travesty in my all introductions short, Ben. Did you see what happened? Did you see what happened? Of course you did. Hoss Bryant, he knew I had that match won. Slade knew I had the match won. He puts his nose where it doesn't belong. He slides Slade a hammer and hits me in the head. So now I'm out on the tournament and I'm out on the cash. And my daughter, Emily, she's out on her surgery. And then of all things, they had to rip her pitcher off of my boot and then tear it. How heartless can you be? And then Hoss Bryant, you put your nose in my business and you can't even have a match. I can't even get revenge on you? Where does it go from here? Zane, from the bottom of my heart, I, I hope something can be done about this. And I hope your daughter does pull through and, and somehow things get to where they need to be for you and your family.